Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be reviewing a USB condenser mic uh, by Toner. I believe that's how you say it, T-O-N-O-R. Um, now, uh, full disclosure, this company did send me this microphone for free, although they're not paying me other than, I guess, the cost of what this microphone is um, to review it. So I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. So a couple of things really quick. Um, I've got a link to this in the description below if you wanna check it out, but this is the Tonar USB microphone kit. Q9 condenser computer cardioid mic for podcast game, YouTube video stream recording music voice over. So that is the description on Amazon. Uh, and uh, so let's open it up and see what is in the box and we'll dive into it. I haven't opened this yet. So you guys are doing this along with me. Oh, no knife needed. All right, so I've got a instruction manual of some kind. It comes with Cool, it comes with a like a pop filter, so that's cool. Um, we've got the actual microphone here. So um, actually a pretty sturdy mic, metal housing, um, actually looks really good, just very clean. I like that. It's got a um, little pop guard there and comes with a USB cable and a shock mount. And then I guess this is like the desk arm. Okay, cool, so I've got all of it here and this is pretty neat. It comes with pretty much everything you need to mount this to like a desk, which this in my opinion is perfect for like, especially for like gaming or something where uh, maybe you're doing something like this, like a table um, or podcast. Uh, because you've got this little arm here. So let me hook this up and then I'm actually gonna switch over to the audio from this mic. So right now I'm just using my normal, just little shotgun mic. It's mounted right above here, right out of view. So it is about this far from my uh, face. So let me get this set up and then I'm gonna switch over to the audio. All right, I've got it all set up. I'm actually still on the other audio here because I have to get a USB-C adapter for my computer. Okay guys, now we are on the Q9 audio. So, a um, couple of things. This is a pop filter, and this is a, I don't know, microphone sock, wind sock? I'm not exactly sure what the official title for this is. But um, I'll show you what this guards against if you're not aware. A pop filter catches like the pops and enunciation and breath noises. So for instance, if I said, you're gonna hear it's really bad. If I said, I'm gonna go get some popcorn, right? That P just, boom, just blasted. So you put this in front of here. You say, I'm gonna go to the store and get some popcorn. I cannot wait to eat, to get some, eat some popcorn later. Um, and then this does the same thing to a lesser extent. So I'm not using that just because the mic looks so nice. Um, so a couple of things. First of all, the number one thing, why would somebody want this mic? Why would they use this mic? It's because it is a USB microphone, meaning you don't need an interface. You can just plug this mic right in um, and it just works, period. So I'll attest to that. I had to get a, a USB-C adapter because my computer's USB-C, um, but I plugged the microphone right in, didn't do anything, launched the Logic Pro, um, and it immediately pulled it up as an interface, the Q9, so it worked immediately. Um, and I think this is the front of the microphone because the volume button's here, so there's a built-in volume button, so let me check that out. Um, it's probably gonna start sounding really nasty. Looks like it's clipping really bad now, sorry. I'm gonna go down here. I can pull the volume down. I'm just using my built-in meter here in Logic um, to kind of test that, so um, I'm gonna pull it back up a little bit higher. I think right about there's good. So again, you're gonna wanna, you, you can edit that in the uh, program. But um, the other thing too is the arm and all the attachments that come with it. The arm is metal, the little wing nuts and bolts, like some of the pieces are plastic, but it's all really well made. It works great, probably hearing that, but you tighten it up and the springs work great. Um, everything, I mean, it's solid, it, you know, it's really, really solid. So, um, I mean, overall, I haven't heard it yet, but it's like a great little setup. So again, this is a $69 mic. 
Um, so people that would really benefit from this would be if you're making videos that look like this and you don't mind a setup that looks like this, you know, if, if the microphone being in the shot is something that doesn't bother you visually, um, then you can get a lot potentially better audio in the sense of a fuller response versus a shotgun mic. You can get a lot more bass response from a mic in close proximity. And again, the closer you get, the better. Let me put this little sock on. So that's going to help with the pops a little bit. It's not going to be perfect, but maybe a little bit better because I want you to really see and hear. Um, you should be hearing a lot more of the low end of my voice versus when I had the shotgun mic. Um, that's kind of one of the advantages of having a closer proximity. Now, a condenser mic is a lot more sensitive. It picks up more um, you know, uh, sound, and it's a lot more sensitive than like a dynamic mic. So um, let me see if there's anything here in the manual that is really interesting. Again, it has some setup instructions, but is literally so self-explanatory. Uh, you just plug it in and your uh, audio program figures it out. Button on the front, like a sound button, up and down, plus and minus. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. And I think that's the strength of this microphone is the simplicity. It's literally a plug and play microphone. So um, just experience, just setting it up and using it. I mean, it's great. This is awesome. I will use this microphone in this setup um, unless there's something really wrong with the audio. So the other question, you know, on my channel obviously is drum stuff. So you may be asking, is this a good microphone for drums? Now, in theory, uh, yes, it's good if you um, are cool with having a laptop uh, you know, on stage with you if you can have that set up on stage. Again, this cuts out the need for an interface um, so you can plug the mic directly in your computer. So we're going to run downstairs um, here at the church. We're going to run downstairs, put this mic up on the kit, play, and see what it sounds like. So again, this is the Toner uh, Q9. And so far, just kind of the hands-on feel of it is uh, I'm pretty impressed. It feels great. And um, seems like it's going to be pretty easy to use. And we'll see what kind of audio we get out of it um, on the drums. So let's go. Sorry for the accidental wardrobe change. I uh, went home for lunch and left my jean shirt because it's hot outside. Um, so a couple of just final thoughts on this. One, um, it seemed to take the uh, audio levels of the drum set pretty well, so I don't think it's a huge issue there. But um, the, the upside of this can also potentially be the downside. So it's a USB microphone, which is incredible because you can plug it straight into your computer. Um, but it's also a USB microphone, meaning there's not an XLR input to this microphone. So it may not be as usable into like a set of microphones. So if you want a one microphone setup that's easy to use, plug and play, great option. Um, obviously, this is a very inexpensive setup. At 70 bucks, you get a lot of product. Um, again, it, it sounds good. I, you know, I listened back um, afterwards and the audio is great, very clean. You know, there's not a buzz or a hiss. Um, again, I'm not using a pop filter of any kind, so you're probably getting some of those peas and harsh things. So sorry about that. But again, it just looks so good. I just didn't want to cover it up. So forgive me on that. Um, so who would use this? Now, um, this may be good for a musician if, again, you want the one mic, just set up and go. Um, in, a, in a video like this, I would, you know, this is great if I'm just a talk, kind of like a talking head video. It'd be great to use. Now, if I'm, I'm doing a, another product review, it may be more feasible to use a shotgun mic or something um, where I have a, a clean and clear table. But if I'm just speaking, you know, like I am now reviewing a product or talking, it's great. It's right here. Um, the audio levels I'm getting. And I'm, I'm kind of talking off, I guess, axis or whatever. Oh, not, I'm not talking right into the mic so that hopefully you're not getting some of my P's and pops and stuff, um, but still getting more of the depth of my voice. Um, not that I have a deep voice, but you're getting the full range of voice versus, again, a shotgun mic. The farther away you get, the less of that um, bass response of the vocal you get. So anyways, um, final thoughts are, I mean, it's great. The, the clip is extremely usable and I think could even carry a heavier mic. Um, you know, this is all pretty much standard um, fittings and everything. So um, it's not the most expensive thing. Obviously, it's very, very inexpensive for what you get. 
um, and I think it could work great. I can't speak to longevity, but right now I think for the price, uh, especially, it's got great value. So again, this is the Tonar Q9. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up um, in the comments below. I'll answer them if I can about this. But again, I think the power of this and the upside is just the simplicity. It's literally plug and play. If you need more volume, turn it up, turn it down. Um, it's a nice, clean, quiet uh, microphone, and I think it could be really useful if you're doing videos especially like this. So um, thanks again, Tonar, for sending me this mic out. I'll probably be using it in the future. You'll probably see this on this channel uh, more in the future, and um, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, you know, if you're, if you're trying to do one last thing, if you're trying to do like high-end stuff, or you're trying to submit things for a studio, um, some people, you know, I use a $1,000 overhead mic, uh, Shure KSM um, 44. So you may not say if you're trying to produce high-end tracks, that you would want to go with something like this. But if if you have 70 bucks and you don't have a thousand dollars, obviously this is gonna be way more valuable to you than a KSM 44 because you can't afford that. So could this get you started? Absolutely. Is it gonna be your end all product for high end audio? No, for talking head, for gaming, for YouTube videos, for Instagram stuff, for vi YouTube videos, for music that you're not trying to produce tracks and you know make an EP with it. Absolutely, I think this would be a great option for you. So again, link in the description. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, thanks for checking this video out. If you have uh, comments that you want to, what kind of stuff you want me to review or things you want me to talk about um, here on the channel, I'd be happy to check that out. Um, but uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I've got tons of drum videos, all kinds of gear reviews and content on this channel. Um, and give this video a thumbs up. It helps it rank higher on YouTube. Uh, again, make sure you hit the bell notification um, so that you get notified when I drop new content. Uh, I'm, usually, I'm hanging out in the comments for the first two hours or so uh, that I post a video. And if you want more exclusive content, check me out on Patreon. Um, I would love your support there. I post exclusive drum lessons and content every single month. Patreon.com slash Daniel Bernard. And that's it. I'm done advertising. Sorry. So we'll see you guys in the next video.